Pokemon Legends, it's me, the Pokemon Master, and today is Funko Friday, and this is the SDCC 2018 edition of Funko Friday. Pretty pumped, got most of the pops, all the other pops are online, but I did all, I get all, I did get all the pops in stores that I wanted, and I'm pretty happy about it, because, uh, it didn't start off too good for me, personally, uh, but... Uh, before we get to that, uh, I'm going to go with, over what I did get before SDCC. Uh, first up, I'm not sure if this is first, I don't remember, but I did pick up... Uh, yeah, this was after. Okay, so I went to Boston um, on Saturday. Uh, I went to Walmart on Sunday and picked this guy up. Uh, he's pretty rare. Not rare, just hard to find. And uh, this is my second one, so I can do the modification with the leg. So I might give this to a friend, uh, might sell it, I don't know. But, uh, I have a little story for this, so I'm thinking about starting a new series called, uh, Toy Talk, maybe a weekly thing, I'm not 100% sure, maybe a monthly thing every other week, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but, like Funko Friday, I do Funko Friday every week, but, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do, so, but, yeah, I have an interesting story with this guy. Anyways, I went to Boston the night before. My cat got very sick, um, so I shouldn't really have gotten all these pops, but uh, he was sick. Mickey was sick. Uh, he had something wrong with his either kidney or bladder, so uh, he's getting better now. He's on the meds. He's on all these different sorts of meds. So he's getting better, thankfully, because I don't know what I do without him, because uh, I lost his brother. Two years ago, going on three years, um, so, and it's been difficult without him, but without Mickey, I don't know what I'd do. Mac was actually on the channel once, uh, he's actually on a thumbnail for Funko Fridays a few years ago, obviously two years ago. Anyways, uh, it's not the first pop I got at Newberry Comics, I got this at Newberry Street, I picked up a couple Planeswalker decks, uh, for Corset uh, 2019. I picked up a comic, a uh, Venom comic, and that's about it. I did pick up Finn. Pretty happy about this because um, I I start, I made the pop wall. Uh, I pretty much have everyone I want from this set. I might get the Executioner and the P Praetorian, Praetorian Guard. Uh, not 100% sure yet, uh, but hopefully maybe on clearance like I did with Finn. Seven do uh, $8. Uh, not terrible. Because normally he's th he was $13. So he did go down a little bit, and I like that. Uh, and this pop looks pretty good. Definitely not worth the full price, in my opinion. Then I got this first at on the, day, on the same day. Uh, Bob Ross, not the cheese. I want the cheese and the Target exclusive just so I can get the different paintings. It'd be cool if he was in different outfits too, but this is a really nice pop and I definitely like this. Uh, I might even put it somewhere in the house so people can walk by and look at the beautiful, awesome Bo Bob Ross painting. I'm gonna keep the raccoon in here. Uh, it's just. They added the pet just so it doesn't seem like it's a complete ripoff. But to me personally, I like the painting. And the painting makes it worth it. Bob Ross obviously makes it. There's no mistakes, just little happy accidents. There you go, Bob Ross, awesome pop. Plan on getting the chase and the Target exclusive. So, uh, by the way, I did post two videos this week. Normally, I don't do that. I did that two years ago, uh, or three years ago now, uh, where I posted two videos a week, then Funko Friday, um, now I'm gonna just, I'm just trying to get one video a week, but I did post two, uh, they're both anniversary videos of movies, that, both two movies I absolutely love, so, go check it out, uh, pretty good reviews, in my opinion, uh, I mean, I, they're not great, but they're pretty good, they're pretty good for my standards, uh, of how I do things, so, uh, went to Think Geek, got a bunch of stuff there, and then went to Hot Topic, got a bunch of stuff there, as you can tell. So, but first, I'm going to go over what I got at Barnes and Nobel. So, first up, 
I walk into the Barnes and Noble in Braintree, Massachusetts. That's near the South Shore Plaza where Hot Topic is, where Think Geek is, where GameStop is, in the Disney store. I don't really the Disney store that much. I wish I went there more just so I could get some Marvel Selects and maybe some Star Wars dorbs, but I'm out of dorbs. I try I don't get that many nowadays. Anyways, I went to Barnes and Noble and was happy to pick up the uh, Billy and Karen two pack. To be fair, to be quite honest, I don't really remember this scene, uh, but he is holding an Oreo. She has some cleavage. Woo! Yeah, yeah, it's definitely some cleavage there. It's more on the art. You can kind of see it, yeah, you can kind of see it. It's more on the art than it is on the pop, but still, I, I like this. Um, definitely really very different. Considering, I think this is the mom of Mike and... He's still a teenager, to you know, according to the show. But yeah, pretty cool two pack. Um, oh, I don't know where I'm gonna put him because that's my pop wall right there, right? Like right where I'm pointing a screen, you things pops. And so uh, I do have two packs within this pop wall, and they fit perfectly. But I don't know, too many might make it look a little. Eh. So uh, I'm not sure how I will do that. But anyways. Also, at this Barnes & Noble, I did pick up a Dorbs, even though I just said I'm not into Dorbs. But this is probably going to be one of my favorite Dorbs I own. Uh, this is the Steve with Bandana. Uh, I think this looks awesome. I'm not getting any more Dorbs. I might get the Demogorgon. Uh, hopefully for very cheap. But 10 bucks for a Dorbs, that looks pretty good and... It is a con exclusive. Not too bad. Not too shabby. I'm going to put them up on... I have this little Dorbs wall right here, which um, you'll see soon. Uh, go to my personal channel, Doug Tarnovian. I sh should have a link to it. I, I should put a link in the description below. But if you click on my channel, go to channel. It is featured there. So you can go check out my personal channel. I will be doing a collection update and room tour. Uh... They also, Barnes & Noble also gave me these uh, DC Essentials. I love these things because they tell you what comics to read, what's good, what's bad. Uh, the, uh, the only thing is they tell you the same thing every time, you know. Dark, ba the Dark Knight Returns, Year One, Earth One, uh, Hush, Nightfall, Death of Superman, I can go on. Um, Red Sun. Red Sun's a great comic. It's very confusing, the ending, but it's really good. Uh, but, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I got this poster, too, which I really like. I might get this framed. That's how much I like this. Alright, come on. Jesus. Oh, it's not even gonna fit, but there you go. It's basically the cover of the book. The... Essentials. Thank God it folds up back neatly. So I hope that got it all. Most likely not. And yeah, so I got this. Uh, pretty cool. It's free. So, I mean, I'd rather get a buck, but. Anyways, so that's cool. I, I'm gonna look through that and figure out what to read next. Anyway, so they didn't have uh, Ant Man. So I called. I called Barnes Noble in. Apparently, it said on the website, on Google, Barnes & Noble, Derby Street, and Hingham. Alright, so, I call them up, they have one. Usually what that means is, the scalpers got all the good ones, and there's one left, and it's trashed. That's what it usually means. Uh, it happened before, and it's gonna happen again, alright? So, I gave him my name, I gave him my number. <laughs> I went there, talked to the lady behind the counter, she says, we don't hold... The pots, but they're over there. I walk over, and what do I find? Three Ant Man pops. Odd, because you know, like she did say, she said that they don't hold pops. The only the guy said there was one pop. Took my name and number. No, gave my number too. Uh, <laughs> but I'm just glad to get this. Hopefully, I don't get called in the middle of the night. But luckily, I have to take out these things. So whatever. Um. But yeah, really cool pop. Box is pretty good. Usually when there's just one pop left, you know, 
50% is damaged. Um, I also did pick up this guy. Yes, I do collect Black Series. Review on this guy coming probably in August. Um, so, sometime in August. I don't know him. He just looks awesome. And I'm definitely going to look up the uh, Wolf Pack. Uh, clone, desi clone designation, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so definitely going to look this guy up because he does look pretty cool. And I do have Command Degree. Yeah. And I picked up a book as well. Carrie. I love this movie. And this book, I feel like it will be extremely... This is actually the first book he, uh, Stephen King ever wrote, uh, wrote I think. I'm not 100% sure. You can correct me on that. But yeah. Love Stephen King. I read The Shining. Great book. You should read it if you get the chance. Someone is reading it somewhere in San Diego because um, he posted like Marvel Legends series Instagram. He posted some Marvel Legends news. I wouldn't... I mean, I follow him just because I follow him, but I wouldn't follow him. I mean, follow him if you want if you're into Marvel Legends, but uh, follow Toy Shiz. He uh, is a lot better with news and stuff. Uh, but Marvel Legends series posted a picture saying, this is what I need to go to Comic-Con, like drink, coffee, a comic book maybe to get signed, and The Shining. And I'm like, why do you need The Shining? But it is, it is a good book. I do, I did love it. Probably one of my favorite books of all time. So. I read a lot of books, so kind of, sort of. For my age, I read a lot of books. Anyways. I went to Hot t -t -t Topic, and I picked up my Pops, all nice, minty, fresh boxes, and awesome paint jobs. First up, I got Valkyrie, yes. I am pretty happy that they made this suit. They made two exclusives to NYCC, which is not the biggest deal, but um, this Pop looks just amazing. This might be, like, definitely top 10, maybe top 20 favorite Marvel Pops. Definitely top 10 favorite MCU Marvel Pops. Uh, I'm thinking about doing two separate videos, MCU Pops and Marvel comic, Comics Pops, but uh, I looked through my Marvel Comics ones, and it's not even 10 that I, this is my favorite. Uh, but yeah, this is just an awesome pop, and I love it. The one problem is the skin bleeds onto the hair, or the hair does not get all the paint. There's still a little bit of a problem. You can't really see it, but I'm not taking her out because I am going to review her, so I don't want to review her on Fungal Friday. But yeah, like, this is not even the worst, and it's still, like, it's kind of, eh, but there's some that just goes around the head, like, around the head where the hairline is. So that's a bit unfortunate, but uh, pick up the right pop. Don't let, don't let the employees just give you the pop, ring you out. You know, when you check your boxes and check your pops. Uh, next up, I did pick up I, personally, again, Star Wars. I don't know this character. I do plan to get to know him, but he does look pretty sick, and it is Cad Bane. This guy is pretty cool looking. Uh, I, get, I believe he's from the Clone Wars. Because uh, this is definitely Clone Wars box. Um, I would love to watch the Clone World, Worlds. Clone Wars. It is on Netflix. So I might watch it. You know when I have nothing else to watch. Right now I'm watching Parks and Rec. Hint to the next pop. But yeah this is a really cool pop. I do like this a lot. So got him. And next up. I just hit at him. Ron freaking Swanson. Oh, this pop looks awesome. Per okay, personally, I would rather Duke Silver. But this is cool, too. We'll get a Duke Silver. I know we will. Maybe NYCC. Maybe ECCC. One of those two, but this pop looks awesome. I just love how he looks. <laughs> He's got the hair. Oh, God. Yeah, this is just an awesome pop. Um, the, my Parks and Rec pops are right there. Just right there. Got my, you know, the Commons. And then I got my two-pack ECCC with Tom Haverford, who's fucking awesome. And then John Raphael. 
Personally, I don't like John Ralphie. I think he's extremely annoying in the show. No one likes him in the show either. Like, <laughs> they're like, I don't like him. I want to punch him in the face. Ron Swanson says. Anyways, next two. I loved this movie, and I definitely need to watch it again. Uh, I want to get the original pops, but they don't look that great. Anyways, uh, I did pick up Wreck-It Ralph, 8-Bit uh, Pops. This works, okay? This definitely works. I have two 8-Bit Pops, uh, Batman and Joker. That's it. Uh, I plan on getting the horror ones. I, uh, I do have, like, Mega Man and the Ch Chase Ryu from, you know, the, um, uh, Black Friday deal box set. I have those. I want to trade them. I don't want them. They're just taking my space. So, I have the whole box if you want to trade it, but, um, yeah, these two, it, it just works, because you see them in the movie as this. This could be movie moments, too, so, uh, really happy I got these. Definitely want to take these out of the box soon, so, uh, I, by the way, uh, before we continue on, that's off the hot topic, by the way. Uh, before we continue on, I am doing a top 10 SDCC Funko Pops of 2018. Or SDCC 2018 Funko Pops. Um, you know, my opinion, the dorms won't be in. I'll probably put it on mentions. But I'm going to wait until my online order comes in and we'll do the top 10. Uh, obviously, I have to have it to do the top 10 because if I... Maybe, you know, how easy it was to get it is, you know, applied to how good the pop is. Anyways, let's take a look at what I got from ThinkGeek. Screw GameStop. I don't go to GameStop anymore. If I want to buy a game, I go to Amazon or Walmart or uh, Best Buy. I don't buy games anymore, period. Uh, the last game I bought was Borderlands 2 for $5 at Walmart. It was like... A bin filled with Borderlands 2. Anyways, uh, I did pick up the Code and Pop. Um, honestly, I don't know what is going on with it. I am not sure if this is going to be rare. I'm not sure if this is going to be expensive in a couple weeks. I just can't tell. I, uh, I like. I got him, Massachusetts boy. But and he's pretty funny. Uh, it's just, I'm not the biggest fan of Conan. So when I see those pops, yes, I wish I had them. But am I going to spend a couple hundred bucks to get them? No, no, I'm not going to do that. Am I going to trade my most valuable thing to get a pop from three years ago, two years ago? No, I'm not going to. Uh, but it, it, I'm glad that they released this, you know, the common, just... Conan and Brian, nothing special. I like that. Anyways, that's the only thing I got that's different. I did get three pops, so we're getting close to the end. So I got the Iron Man Mark One, and yeah, the box is a bit shit. Yeah, that sucks. So uh, hopefully, if I go there again, they'll have another one, and I'll return this. Although I can see myself taking this pop out because this pop looks awesome. She didn't let me look at them. Um, unfortunately, but, unfortunately, uh, unfortunate thing, we're not seeing any more 10-year anniversaries. Funko really missed the ball on this. They should have made a bunch of pops for this. Maybe they couldn't just because they didn't have anything, like, Hasbro is doing Ronin the, the, no, Ronin the, uh, something. Ronin from Guardians of the Galaxy. Thing is... Funko did it. He's vaulted now, but I wish I got him. But you can't. Only hear what you want. Um. So F Funko did everyone, so they can't do the top ten. Not the top ten. Ten. You know, anniversary figures, except this one, obviously, because they weren't making the first pop that they ever made. I think it was from in the Marvel line. Was actually Thor from the Thor movie. I think it was the first one. So. You know, that was a few movies after this, so, I don't know. But it does look awesome. 
I do love this pop. I might do a versus video, this versus the comic version, but I, I just saw obviously this one's better. Anyways, next up, finishing Stranger Things. Bam, we got Dustin in the Snowball Dance costume. He looks awesome. This, like, this is a great pop. It might be the most underrated pop of this con, of this year's SDCC ex shared exclusives. This might be the most underrated, uh, most unappreciated, because this is a really good pop. I do like this. I like the outfit. I like the, the pose. It's a little basic, but a little Frankenstein-ish, but the, the, the hair, the hair, like, Funko, the strange thing Funko Pops, the hair is where the show is. And this is just awesome. You can really see how good it is just in the box here. It looks awesome. That's all I have to say. It looks amazing. I love Stranger Things Pops. On the show, Walking Dead. I have a bunch of Walking Dead Pops. Not sure if you can tell. You can probably tell just a little bit. Just from that little corner. They're going to end it real fucking soon. Like, really. Uh, I mentioned it before. Walking Dead fans are probably the best TV fans ever. Just because... They, um, they kind of just, like, sucked it up while the writers were going through bad writing. Whatever. Uh, at least we have the first six seasons to look at. Season seven was pretty good, actually. I don't know. Anyways. Final. This is actually the first con that we got no Walking Dead pop. Which is kind of upsetting, because every Walking Dead pop after Shane was pretty good. Uh, we got the the Burning Walker, we got Dwight, we got uh, T-Dog last year. We got T-Dog last year. That was a good pop. I like that pop. Anyways, this was a must-have for me. I am a big DC fan. You can see a little bit of a spoiler right there. Boom! Red Hood. Yeah, I'm a... Big DC fan. I love DC. That's my DC shelf right there. I have DC wall downstairs. My mom's rooms, basement. She won't move up here, up here to sleep in a room. But it may look like I'm a big Marvel fan. I am. I, I love Marvel, but DC is where it's at. Batman comics are awesome. I love every single one of them. I would love to re re, re, re some, but um. Yeah, man, I mean, seriously, Batman is the shit, and Superman's good, Batman's my favorite, Batman is the best, but having this added to the Bat family really makes me happy. Uh, number 236 in this line, they're doing good, I wish it was the DC line, just so, but Heroes, you know, whatever, because... It's not all DC. There's Judge Dredd in the Heroes line, not the movies line. Cause, it, although I'm glad they're focusing on the comics, he should have been in the comics line. They should have waited a few more years, put him in the comics line. I think it's just because the movie, the new movie came out. So, uh, but this pot looks really good. I like the gun, like the outfit, the helmet looks pretty good. It's a helmet to me. That's how I always thought. But yeah, it's just an awesome pop. And by the way, this sticker. Not the best sticker out there. The best SDCC sticker. Actually, none of them, I don't think. Maybe 2016. The green and um, white. Last year's was purple and uh, yellow. Pink. Yellow. So, I think next year will probably be blue again. Like, blue, white, or blue, green, or something like that. You know, blue, yellow. Um, I don't know. But yeah, this is probably my favorite pop next to this one. I don't know, man. It's really difficult. Um, but yeah, that's my haul. Uh, not, uh, I'm just gonna let you guys know this now. If you're new to this channel, this is not the biggest haul I've ever got. I mean, this is pretty big. It's pretty big. But this is not the biggest haul I've ever gotten. I've gotten, like, pop. I got, like, probably 30 pops in one video. I don't know how long that video is. 
Uh, I need to put all my Funk Fridays into a uh, playlist, so. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What did you get this SDCC 2018? And how was your experience? Was it good? Was it bad? I started off really bad in the morning, like, horribly. We woke up late. All the stores were er opening up early. It sucked. It really did. Uh, but, fortunately, we didn't have, because, you know, Sasha Plata is in Braintree, and FYE, the only FYE, it's all the way in Hanover. It's not all the way in Hanover, but it's, you know, Barnes and Noble's in Braintree, there's a Barnes and Noble right next to the plaza, you know, and Braintree, I mean, Braintree's here, Hanover's here, and, like, I live down here, and it sucks, but, so, I'm glad I didn't have to come all the way over here just for FYE. So, anyways, I did have to go to hang him, though, for, for uh, Ant-Man. So, I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, please give a thumb up. And subscribe to see a lot more content, uh, especially a couple weeks uh, from now. Top 10 Funk Pops. S top 10 Funk Pop SDCC 2018. I'll word it better. I'll, I'll think of it. Uh, I did it last year, so you can check out that video. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching.